Nice <laughs> Governor, uh, again, I know you spoke with the uh, CBS Early Show this morning. Um, can you explain to us why it took two years and what you meant by ironclad case against the I, I think if you watch that trial, and I don't know, were you up there, Dave? Uh, can you work? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I think that that demonstrated that those, that case had been thoroughly investigated. A thorough investigation takes time. It takes time to find witnesses. Uh, one witness uh, would have been a very difficult time. And I said it from the beginning. Let's back up. What's my background? As assistant DA, I did a lot of these types of cases working with these kids. As, a, as, the United, as Attorney General, I've done child predator cases. I have close to 300 convictions going after child predators on the Internet. These are very, very important cases to me. I've done more about you know, people being predators of kids than anybody that I've, that I've met. I, mean, that's, I don't usually pat myself on the back, but it's a fact. If we're going to do this case, when that came in front, we had to have the best possible case to go against somebody like Mr. Sandusky, who was, go back to what everybody thought he was, great coach, players loved him, created the second mile. It took a long period of time to find people to come out, to piece this together. This is not television. It doesn't come together in 24 hours, okay? Sometimes you, there, there were spurts of activities. Other times, um, it took like agents, I think one of the agents was looking, when they learned about his book, they started looking through his book and got evidence out of the book. They put together, it was in the process as I was leaving, and I was in contact with them on a regular basis. How's it coming? How's it coming? Keep moving, pushing. But I was never going to tell them, you got to charge it now or don't charge it. You tell me when you're ready. We, we made the change. I left, I appointed an attorney general. Of the many reasons that I appointed Linda Kelly attorney general, one was that she was in the same unit I was in in 1977, 78, and 79, trying these types of cases. And she was gonna be another set of eyes to look at that case, make sure that we had the case that we could win, because we're gonna get one shot. If we lose that case, you're never going to get a shot. First off, if you, if you go with one case and you lose it, there could have been other victims out there who wouldn't come forward. When they got those victims, you have to say, that was an ironclad case. I kept hearing it go in. I, I learned as much from the paper, I learned more than I, some of which I didn't know. They just laid out a case that you know, you know, the jury deliberated properly, and they basically said, they didn't use the words ironclad, and I got the ironclad from Ed Randell. That was his quote. Yeah, I, guess, well, I guess people have a hard time understanding, and maybe you can use your background and expertise. Why is one child rape victim or alleged victim not enough? It could be enough. And if it were a non-celebrity, yeah, maybe. But the best thing you can do when you're talking about a child saying that an adult is doing something that is this horrific to me, and he's a coach, hey, you, you want to corroborate it. If it's one-on-one, -on -one, and now put the celebrity status in, put the, you know, uh, Jerry Sandusky is loved by everybody, carried out, on the, out of the football uh, stadium on the uh, shoulders of his football team. How can anybody say there must be something wrong? You better corroborate it. And that's what they started doing. They started pulling strings and gathered and gathered and gathered. And that's, that's my experience. You build those cases as well as you can. Did it weigh on your mind that there might have been more victims out there? As the Absolutely. The, you mean that he could be victimizing? Yeah, I was worried about it. But at the same time, I have to be careful here because there's certain things I'm still barred from going into, I think. Um, he, I believe he had to know we were looking at him at some point in time. And so if you know that they're looking at you, you kind of, you kind of back away. But it, it was a calculated risk. 
not one that you really easily want to take. When was the first time that you heard of any accusations against Jerry Sandusky? When we got the referral. When we got the referral from the district attorney, uh, March, April, I don't have a time log here, of 09. Did was, he tell you what the, the conflict was? His brother-in-law was adopted by Jerry Sandusky? I didn't talk to him, but I learned that that was the, the conflict. Is it Matt? That's a pretty good conflict. Is it Matt Sandusky? Um, I don't know. I don't know who it is. I don't know who it is, but it is, it's a very good conflict. Uh, not good, but a valid one. What do you have to say about um, the statement that the state released on Friday about basically saying, telling the victims, come talk to us, we're going to sit down and, and, uh, and talk, about, talk about the damage? I don't think I'd really go into that as, as a member of the Board of Trustees. Uh, I, I think that those, that those are legal decisions that are being made by the administration. And I think it would, I haven't had any conversations with them, um, particularly since the, the verdict. So, uh, Jen, I'm not comfortable talking about that right now. Maybe somewhere down the road, but not today. Um, there's legislation that, I don't know if it's been introduced yet, but it's going to be introduced about making sure that money for higher ed at Penn State doesn't go towards anything that has to do with Sandusky. Do you think that that legislation is necessary? Or are there any conversations that you've already had with the State to make sure that I'll, make a, I'll make a general observation. There's a lot of proposed legislation that never makes it all the way through, so you tell me whether it's necessary. Um, no offense to the legislature, but um, in my opinion, Jerry Sandusky is never going to see the outside of a prison for the rest of his life. So we'll see what happens, see what kind of legislation is introduced. I don't I mean, know. Maybe I didn't say it right. I mean that Penn State, money that Penn State would get that wouldn't have to go to any, you know. Oh, 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 victims. for any payments to uh, yeah, victims like, and so forth. It would make sure okay. that I'm sorry. the money from the state would go to that. Um, I, I, would, I would have to see it, but I think it, it's uh, a, um, I think there's a legitimate concern that, you know, taxpayer dollars should not be going to fund that settlement of a case like that. That's what you're talking about. Okay. Have you had any conversations at all with Penn State or with any leaders that you know have talked not, to? Not on that. I've, I've been keeping, you know, because of the investigation and the trial, I have not talked to them very much about the Sandusky case. Very, in fact, very, very little. Okay. Last one. Thank you all.